Welcome to the Guided Expressions Podcast with Martin Williams, the place to learn and be inspired to live your best life. Here is your host, Martin Williams. Hello, everyone. My name is Martin Williams. Thank you so much for tuning in to the Guided Expressions Podcast. And today, what I wanted to talk about is fixing your focus. It's important that we understand that focus is one of the main ways or one of the main reasons I should say that people fail and why do people fail it's because you know their their eyes are not on what they need to have it on Um, everyone that's listening to this is very capable you're very capable of accomplishing great things you're very capable of accomplishing your goals and dreams the problem is not ability The problem is oftentimes what we focus upon. What do I mean by that? If you focus on things that are going wrong, excuse me, going wrong in your life, then it's going to drive you, your life is going to drive you towards those things that are going wrong. If all you think about are the bad things, then you're just going to get more of that stuff because that's what you're focused on. If you focus on the good things that are happening in your life, you're going to get more of the good stuff. And as simple as I made that sound, and you may you may be listening to this, <clears throat> excuse me, you may be listening to this and say, well, that doesn't mean, you know, it's never that simple. It's not that simple. Believe me, it is. It's very simple. Uh, people who are high performers understand this principle more than the general public. The general public thinks that you can think about any number of things and get your goals and new dreams and it just doesn't work like that you have to learn to think about the things that you want in life more and think less about the things that you don't want if you think about if you think from a place of fear and you say well i don't want this this and this to happen do you know what often happens the very thing that you fear is the job principle Uh, you may remember or you may have heard that job in the bible when things really began to go haywire for him in his life, you know, he started losing family members, he lost his wealth, he lost his, you know, his stature in his, uh, in his city. He said, the thing that I greatly feared has come upon me. It was fear. The thing that I've greatly feared, right? So even though things were going well, fear takes attention. Okay, you, fear needs attention. If you're not paying attention to the thing you fear, it's probably not going to come in your life. But when you begin to think about constantly the thing that you fear, if you don't stop that momentum, eventually it does come in your life. So it's important that we live from our desires versus our fears. What does that mean? It means you have to fix your focus. Focus on the things that you want. Stop focusing on the things you don't want. So what I want you to do is this week I want you to write out 10 things that you want to happen this week. And these could be big or small things. This could be getting a great parking space at your supermarket. This could be um, speaking to a a friend that you've been wanting to hear from for a while. Um, It could be uh, going uh, out somewhere and, and maybe perhaps you've been wanting to go and you haven't had the opportunity or maybe you haven't had the resources or what have you. Um, it may be getting a project done at work. And what I want, want to challenge you to do is take those 10 things and only focus on those 10 things this week. Don't focus on anything else. Don't think about anything else. Uh, you know, obviously, you know, if you're uh, you know, your daily task or whatever, you know, you're driving, things like that. You know, I'm, you, I'm assuming that there's a level of common sense <laughs> that I'm dealing with here. So, you know, when I, but what I say is when you have free moments, when you're going throughout your day, and the th- instead of thinking about all the things that are going wrong or have gone wrong or maybe the things that you're afraid might go wrong, only think about those 10 things. Make that, make that list out of 10 things that you want to see happen this week. And whether it happens or not, it's really inconsequential. What I want to teach you is, 
that when you focus on the things that you want to happen, when you focus on the goals that you have, instead of focusing on all the bad things that can happen, when you start focusing on the good things that can happen, something happens within you, right? Your brain chemistry begins to change. Uh, your mood begins to change. Your energy increases, right? When you think about negative things or negative outcomes, it's very hard to feel energized. It's very hard to feel positive. It's very hard to feel good because those thoughts are turning around in your mind and you're just thinking about all the bad stuff that can happen. What I'm challenging you to do is to change the way you think, okay? Write out these 10 things, fold it up, and keep it in your pocket. And whenever you have a free moment, just look over those things, even for you know a minute or two, and start turning those things over in your mind. What's going to happen is that you're going to find that you feel better because it's a sense of anticipation. All of a sudden, you're feeling excited about what might could happen, what could possibly happen. Now, I also want to remind you that don't share this with people, especially people that are negative, people that don't really get it. Like, don't share it with them. Um, you know, just kind of keep this close to the vest, even, even if they're positive, even if you have positive people in your life. Keep this close to the vest, right? Let this be something that you do for yourself. Because, again, it's not so much about getting the things that are on the sheet, but you know, even though I think that you will get a lot of what's on that sheet, it's about changing the way that you think and becoming more on purpose and on demand about thinking about what you want versus thinking from a place of fear, right? Negativity is rooted in fear, okay? So when you uproot the fear in life, negativity goes with it. Negativity can't live without fear. So it's important that we begin to train our minds to think differently instead of thinking in terms, again, in terms of what we don't want to happen, what we're afraid might happen, to start thinking in terms of what we want to happen, what we are looking forward to happening, what we, what, excuse me, what would, we would be excited. I'm so excited, I can't even spit it out. What we would be so excited to see in our lives, right? When you start thinking from that place, you're going to notice a shift. And when you begin to think differently, you, you begin to start talking differently. And when you start talking differently, you start acting differently. And when you start acting differently, you're going to see some change in your life, positive change, the type of change that you've been wanting to happen for a long time, the type of things that you've been wanting to see happen are going to start happening because of that domino effect. It's like a chain reaction. When you think different, you're going to speak different, you're going to act different, and you're going to see different. And so I challenge you to do that this week. Write down those 10 things. Focus on that. Don't focus on your problems. Don't focus on what's going on in the political arena. Don't focus on the fact that it's raining. It's been raining for three straight days or wherever you are, uh, how hot it is, how cold it is. Don't focus on that stuff. Focus on that list of 10 things. And I promise you that if you do this and really put, put your effort and your energy into that, you're going to start seeing some changes in your life. My name is Martin Williams. I'm so honored, so humbled that you took the time to listen to this podcast. And I will see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe to the Guided Expressions podcast on YouTube, Apple Podcasts, or Spotify to get all the latest content from Guided Expressions. No one builds a house without a blueprint. So why are you trying to build your dream life without one? That's how the Blueprint course was created. The Blueprint course is for people who know they were meant for more. Created by Martin Williams, the Blueprint is a streamlined way to help you create the life you've always wanted. Get instant access now by clicking the link in the description box or going to guidedexpressions.com forward slash blueprint.